What about if we wanted an, what if we wanted to know the probability that two out of the next five days will be snow days? Remember from before that the probability of snow on any day is 25%. So here P is 25%. And Q is always going to be 1 minus P, which is equal to just 0.75. We want to know the probability of having two successes, so X is 2, out of the next five days. So we have five trials, and N equals 5. Now we just simply plug everything in. 5 factorial. P is 25%, X is 2, and Q is 75%, N minus X, 5 minus 2, is 3. This is all going to be over 2 factorial, N minus X is again 3 factorial. Things don't cancel off as nicely as they did before. But we still do see some cancel, can, canceling. Look at the expansion of this fraction, which is just over here. I've expanded out the, the factorials. In this case, we at least see that the 3 times 2 times 1 can cancel off with the 3 times 2 times 1 there. And the 4 and the 2 can cancel off. So up top, we have, uh, or, or we can cancel off the 5 times the 4 and the 2. So this is 20 divided by 2. We end up with just 10. Okay? So we have 10 times 0.25 squared. That's this value over here. And then we have 0.75 cubed. That's this value over here. And when we multiply it all together, we get the probability to be 26.4%. So if the probability of snow is 25%, on any given day, then the probability of having exactly two snow days in the next five days is 26.4%. What if we wanted to calculate the entire probability distribution for a, binomial, for a, binomial, for a binomially distributed random variable? We can do that by calculating the probability of all of the different outcomes of, of the random variable. So in this case, let x be a binomially distributed random variable representing the number of heads obtained in three coin tosses. In each case, we have the same n, p, q. So n is going to be 3, p is 50%, q is 50%. Now we're going to calculate the probability for each of the different potential outcomes. We could have zero heads, we could have one head, two heads, or three heads. So if we plugged in the numbers uh, 0, 1, 2, and 3 for x, we can calculate the different probabilities. The probability that x equals 0, the probability that it equals 1, 2, or 3. And we can then graph these probabilities in a chart. So here we found that the probability that x is equal to 0 is an eighth. The probability of obtaining one head is, a thir is 3 eighths. Two heads is 3 eighths. Or three heads is 1 eighth. And here we've drawn the probability distribution function for this binomially distributed random variable. Now, what about calculating the expected value of this random variable? Well, recall that the expected value of x equals the sum k equals 1 to k of k times pk, which is just the probability that x equals k. So we have four different outcomes. The first one is that k could equal 0. So k equals 0 times the probability that k equals 0, we, can, we know that from our probability function, 1 8. Then we have to add to that the probability, sorry, the k equals 1 times the probability that x equals 1. Well, that's 3 8. And 2 times the probability that x equals 2, that's 3 8. And 3 times the probability that x equals 3, 1 8. When we Multiply and add these all together, we find that the expected value is 1.5.
So, on average, we would expect the, the, the average value of this random variable is 1.5. Just to summarize now the, what we've learned about the binomial distribution, uh, especially in, the process, in determining what kind of processes we can use it in, we know that we can use the binomial distribution when the process consists of n independent trials. So n independent coin tosses, where the value of one result of one trial is independent from the value of another trial. Each trial that we have can only consist of two possible results, a success or a failure. And the probability of each outcome in a trial is known, and it does not change between trials. So the probability of snow on any given day is 25%, and it doesn't change from day to day. In these cases, the binomial distribution is an appropriate probability distribution to use when we're modeling a process.